Welcome to Pokemon Infinite Fusion, a fan-made game where a company named Silphco creates DNA splicers, a tool used to take the DNA of two Pokemon and infuse them into one, which can make some really cool looking fusions like this one, and some really not good looking ones. What the fuck is that? My name is Thomas, and if you enjoy the video, hit that follow button, it helps me out a lot. I went with my favorite region, Sinnoh, and chose my favorite starter, Chimchar, and just like I did when I was 7 years old playing the original Diamond and Pearl, I named him Blaze. You don't make fun of me, I'm surprised I even knew what that word was back then. My rival then takes the two remaining starters and fuses them together, which seems a little unfair but whatever I guess. He then decides that it's time to battle. He sends out this guy, Piptwig, which is, uh, okay. After we wipe the floor with him, we then head off to the Pokemart to receive Oak's parcel and obtain a DNA splicer for ourselves, which means it's time to get freaky. Before that though, we need to get our first set of Pokeballs and go catch our first wild Pokemon. Of course, we end up collecting mushrooms in the forest for money and actually receive a free Pokemon from some random stranger because if you know me, I'm always willing to take free shit. We then stumble upon our first test subject, a Pichu. We catch him and I'm so excitedly curious of how this fusion will turn out. We decide to fuse our new Pichu with our starter Chimchar, and let me tell you that preview looks very interesting. That is nightmare fuel, but I love it. Welcome to the team, buddy. With our new abomination, we sweep through Viridian Forest, killing some really cool fusions on the way and arriving in Pewter City. We go and catch some new Pokemon like this Nidoran and decide it's time to fuse some more. Our first fusion is the free Pokemon that we got with the name that I can't pronounce in Nidoran. It's kind of cute, I guess. Our second fusion is a Weedle and Meowth because honestly, I thought this would be kind of interesting and oh my god, it's fucking horrifying. It was now time to take on the gym and we took out the trainers with these, making them rethink their entire life and decisions up to this point and went straight on to face the perv gym leader Brock, who looks completely stoned. We selected the two Pokemon we'll be using, and now it's finally time to battle Brock. Brock starts out with a really cool looking Pidgey and Geodude fusion, but we take it out easily with a Thundershock. He then sends out his ace fusion of Diglett and Onyx that features a little silly clown nose on his face. He takes out our Blaze with a super effective Rock Tomb and we are forced to send out our last Pokemon, Nidomiku. I'm not gonna lie, this fight wasn't interesting at all. I just spammed Harden and Potions in order to eventually beat him with some super effective double kicks. It's shit on, Potions for the win. With Brock beaten, our Blaze was able to evolve into a beautiful, oh my god, it's even worse.